Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in this video, a lot of you guys had problems because whenever you touch the part, uh, the GUI will show to everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be actually fixing that problem. So before we start, go into the View tab and make sure you have Explore and Properties opened as we'll be using them. After that, go to Home and click Part. So I'm just going to quickly drag this to the center. So this is going to be the part that you need to touch. So go over here, go into the part, and then just rename it to the touch part. After that, we're going to need our GUI to pop up after you hit the part. So go into starter GUI, click the plus, and enter in the screen GUI. And under the screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a text label. Let's drag this text label to the middle, go into the properties of it. Set the anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5 and then recenter it. So that way it looks the same on PC and mobile. So after that, let's go um, quickly customize this. So let's make the background blue. Let's make the text uh, you hit a part, for example. And then let's go over here. Let's make the text color white. Let's make it bold and let's make it scaled. Let's also increase the size, so I'm just gonna drag that like this. Recenter it. It still is the same on PC and mobile, so that's cool. So next thing we're gonna do is go under the text label, click the plus, and enter in a local script. So this script is gonna be a long one, but it should be fairly easy to follow. So local touch part equals to game dot workspace dot touch part so that's going to be the part that we inserted earlier and go down line local player equals to game dot players dot local player local text equals to player dot player gui dot screen gui dot text label after that go down the line and write local can hit equals to true so those are our variables and we can start the actual script so touch part dot touched colon colon connect function and then put brackets and then hit and then go down the line so when you hit the part if can hit equal equals to true then and then we're going to write local name equals to hit dot parent dot name so we're gonna get the player's name and if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child quotation marks which is a humanoid with a capital H so this determines if the thing that hit the part is a player then uh, then text dot visible equals to true and then go down the line so this is the part where we make the GUI only appear for the player that hit the part. So after we go down line, we write for I, comma, P in pairs, and then bracket should appear, and write game dot players colon get children, and after the three brackets, write do, go down the line, and then write if player so p stands for player so if player dot name is equivalent to the name that we got earlier so if the player that hit the part's name matches with the name in the game and then go down line and then can hit equals to false so they can't hit it again and then text dot visible equals to true we're gonna wait three seconds and then text dot visible equals to false and then we're gonna go down line and write can hit equals to true so they can hit the thing again after that go down the line and write else if and then p dot name unequal so this is nil if you can't write nil for some reason i'll put it in the description so if the player's name does not equal to the name that we found earlier then uh then text dot visible equals to false and then we will break the loop so that should be the entire script and the last thing we're going to do is go into the text label 
and then we're going to go into the visible and the properties of it and uncheck it and then we're going to go into the game settings permissions and then we'll just make it public and now i'm going to go test the thing in a real game with my alt account and as you can see i just loaded into the game and i'm also just going to quickly load in with my alt account so you should be here anytime soon and there we go there's my alt account so i'm just going to stand right here and i'm going to take my alt account and then my alt account's going to walk right over the part and you can see when the alt account walks over the part i don't get i don't see um the text label from my alt account but if i was to walk over the part uh, as you can see it does show but my alt account you can't really see my alt account but my alt account does not see the text label to show you again my alt account will go over it again there's no text label showing and if i go over the text label does show up for me so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial if you like it make sure to like comment subscribe and share hopefully this solved many of your guys's problems if it did that's cool also we're getting incredibly close to 1000 subscribers and if we do sometime my friend said he'll do a 10 dollar giveaway but anyways that's it for today. Bye.